Alrighty guys, welcome back. We continue the battle to pursue a few more enemies, and that may have been a terrible mistake, but we're about to find out, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna jump over here, and by jump I mean slowly plod, because that's the only speed that Varl move at, and yes, this was a huge mistake. We're gonna die. Uh, I hope I'm happy with me. If it makes you feel any better, <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I'm, I'm pretty sure that both Nathan and Tony have already died. Have they really? Yep. Wow, that's really depressing. Um, does that does there does their playthrough end there? Is that how we're doing no, no, this? No, no, we actually are going to continue on. What? Come on, dude. We were making bets that our playthrough would be the only one to go till the end. We can still make those bets. That <sighs> sucks. Ooh. I've never once wiped a party in this game. You know that? Really? I've played through this game 19 times, never actually failed. Like fully failed. I've like you know lost people before, and I've made bad decisions that have led to very very difficult runs, but I've wow. never once failed. I think you just got cocky. Uh, I don't know about that. You oh, might you, still oh, come do, out do of you this. you mean like just now? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well. Um. <laughs> How many guys do we have left? One, two. I would say too two, many. Um. Two. Oh, we have three. Oh, I could like. Oh, I, I didn't realize that button was there. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this. I'm I'm gonna go down here. Probably not. Yeah. Although I have seen Nathan get himself out of a very close fight. Yeah. To be fair, he got there because he was stupid. It really depends on the AI behavior at this point. Like, I'll either oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> or maybe I'll get lucky and pull a victory out of my ass. That would be awesome. Damn. Is that Ubin up at the top? Uh, I have no idea. Ubin. Ubin. Where? Oh yeah, he that is totally him up to the left. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. He's, he's got he's no, no the body. Yeah, of yeah. A... He's got a uh, uh, the mender over his shoulder because we just <laughs> came down out of the tower and now this is the this is that staircase. Remember, I commented yeah. in the last one on the long staircase being a like a moat substitute, but then we got right into it immediately and I didn't have time to finish my thought. That'll happen sometimes. <laughs> The world moves along at a pace that isn't always okay, and just like that, things went from pretty okay to pretty much devastating. Yeah, yeah we're not gonna make it out of this. Um, it's yeah. a, it's almost a shame that there's not a flea mechanic. Well, I mean, at the same time, I feel like it doesn't make makes sense. sense, right? But yeah, I don't know. I mean, surround them, prevent them from moving. If they can't use their mobility, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of true. Yeah. It only really works, though, if you've got a force that can survive repeated engagements, and I don't, so... Unless, for whatever reason, they decide to only chip at your armor. Oop, well, now you're down to two. Yeah, and then there were two, and it's Faisalt and Moger. And it's Moger. Uh, I'm probably not going to make it out of this. Wait, here we go. I'm going to kill this guy. You know, maybe if you die in the second phase, you never, you don't actually party wipe. Because I think I have gone down in the in the second phase before. Oh really? I yeah, I don't, I don't know though. I guess we'll find out. Mm. Um, yeah, that'd be interesting because then that sort of reduces the um, the badness the, the, of doing the risk. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I don't know. Wow. All right. That did nothing. I am not complaining. Yeah. No kidding. Okay, I'll do that. Awesome. As long as I keep him, like, lined up like this for one more round. Wow, he still has a decent bit of health. That's actually pretty surprising. Yeah. Well, I've kept him on this side of the of the engagement the whole time, mm. and I've refused to let anybody with any health actually Ugh. get near him. Oh, there we go. And it's over. Yeah, I think that's... that's it might take it. him half an hour to walk around me, though, which would be nice. So I'm going to go over <laughs> here, and I'm just going to finish him. How about that? Suck on that, motherfucker! I shouldn't have killed him, I should have left him at one, doing nothing, because now he can just walk back, yep. and it's over. Ooh. Devastating loss. Uh, okay, yeah. so yeah, you just lose more 100 guys. 100 Varl! That wasn't pragmatic at all! Oh, no! That was a, a sixth of it? You still get renown! That's good. That's awesome! Well, yeah, if we didn't get renown from that, and we oh, continued yeah. playing, that would just be... Oh, as you die, your last thoughts are if the thousands of dredge marching past Ridgehorn, an invasion, another war, will history remember this moment as the beginning of the end? You never find out. Uh, it's a little awkward that they went yeah. through that end process. Yeah. Why but, still give us renown if we're, if we're dead? Yeah. Well, well alright, we'll just return to the last checkpoint. But that's before the fight. So now we gotta do it again. Okay, we can cut we can cut to after we win the fight. <laughs> and we won't be stupid this time. Okay. We'll see you in a second. Okay, so there's a lot of dredge up there. I think I'm just gonna let them come to me though. Ooh. <laughs> I could go chasing. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Two I don't care. I have four. Yeah. 
and it'll earn me one because I will true. just straight up kill this guy. <laughs> <laughs> If they want to keep dealing one damage to Hacken, they are more than welcome to do that. In the meantime, these two guys will come to bear against that guy. I mean, tempted the big guy away from those guys. Right. Really which, he's their only protection. So I'm going to sit here and just calmly wait. Lost a couple of guys, but I got him. Yeah. That's a tough fight all the, way, all the way around. Yeah, that's that was actually something I was thinking about, too, is that this, this battle is intentionally difficult. Which makes the follow-up battle that much more difficult. Yes. Uh, oh, there's so much less guys this time because I didn't charge. Look at that. There's, there's two fewer of them. There were six, now there are four. Well, one came onto the battlefield partway through. Yeah, because he was called by one of the other guys. But it is it is one big guy less, at least. Yeah, break this man's armor. <laughs> I love having six armor break. You just walk up and just poke them, and they just they melt. I it's that's, great. That's like one of the most satisfying things about really like maxing out stats on your characters. And Hacken is wounded, but still has fifteen health though, and still deals eight damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes! Wow, these guys would be super dead if I had any health at all to speak of. Oh, <laughs> now I actually have it. <laughs> so now. Now you will oh, die. Beautiful. 15 damage. Jesus. Okay. And we pull back before they regroup. I would recommend it. Yeah. All right, we're back. We're back. Okay, so uh, some things were learned, mistakes were made, <laughs> fixes happened. Now we're moving on. What's going on? Indeed, Hacken, what is going on? Uh, I had one eye on the fight. Next time I look down, dredge are swarming into the courtyard. Can't tell how many more are waiting out there, but it's a lot if we're getting back across that bridge. It's a fight. Any options? Not really, unless you want to wade into that valley, unless we're going to have to leave the same way you came in. Hacken, you should take a look at this. I think this man is a mender. Now, this is the first time that we see that word, right? Right, exactly. Mm, we already kind of get a, a sense that something's unique the about him. The spell weavers, yeah. Uh, yeah, and he also has the staff. We can actually even see that staff. Yeah, you can see it, but you can't, like, see it on him. Like, I mean... No, you can. Uh, yeah, actually. but he never, he's never holding it, is my point. Uh, you just see it next to him. That could just be a stick I, or, like, a log he, or something. I guess that's fair, but, I mean, in this uh, world, let's get do you really ever... Everyone carries their weapon at their side. It defines who they are. So the pragmatic action here is we could rest, but we could just try and make our way out. Do we want to try and make it a little defensible, rest up a little bit... Have our people not be injured when we get into the fight to get out of here? Hmm. What do you think? Well, I mean, the other consideration is if we rest, then that means that we're fighting more on the way out. So is the pragmatic approach to just cut our losses and just get out now, or is it to... I think we rest now so that we can double fight on the way out and get that double axe bonus. I think achieving the most experience possible is the best way to do it. But I've, that's been my, my phrase since the beginning. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll agree with that. Sure. I think the pragmatic choice is less clear in this instance. It is. So it, Which means, you know, it's a complex, it's a good game. Um, oh, yeah. We could ask Ludin, but I'm not going to do that. We don't care what um, is, So we're so. going to make this place defensible. <laughs> Ludin, you use your spear, not your words. I don't care what you have to say. Uh, let's see. Uh, might try to starve us out or wear us down, hide their numbers. Uh, let's keep everybody getting rested and ready. Okay. Uh, heroes, how are we doing? Three days injured for most people. Well, that's pretty rough. We should put is Bercy rough. in the party. Yeah, or we could just have three days worth of rest. Well, resting isn't exactly pragmatic. I could promote Hacken with 15 of the 18, but that wouldn't put him within range of wielding that other thing. Mm. I could... Promote? No, I can't promote Moger. He's two kills short. Could promote Luden. That's not a bad option. It's not a bad idea at all. Especially because then we can also promote one of our level one guys as well. I'll promote him then. Okay, so I promote Luden. Uh, what do I want to spend it on? His armor break is maxed. Strength? I vote strength. Should make and... him as strong as possible? Yes. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I think now... after that, maybe we'll focus on willpower. I mean, he's already at five, yeah. but we use it like crazy with him. Gris is one kill short of being able to level up. Golf. Assault. Eh. Hazel. Um, he's two kills short because I just keep throwing him to the wolves. <laughs> I just keep using him as a meat shield on things. <laughs> uh, so I guess we can't level up anyone else. Though. Uh, that's probably okay. Yeah. 
we'll we'll save that eight renown for yeah. something. Okay. Um. Well, let's rest. And three, and we're at great morale. That's pretty damn good. Cool. All, All right. right. Uh, let's leave. Um, break through the front lines and don't stop. Yeah. All right. Let's go. We'll lose what we're going to lose no matter what. Might oh as well make boy. it quick. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You draw your weapon in advance at your command. The warriors bash into the first line, who seems surprised, but then things start to go wrong. Uh, confusion sweeps over the warriors. They act haphazardly. As you bark orders, Dredge have already pushed through, and they attack. Ah, uh, boy. All right. Okay. Ah, all righty. So, uh, let's see. Gris is an armor breaker just like Moger, so I'm actually going to put him at the front. Uh, Ludin is a finisher, and Faisalt isn't good um so i will do <laughs> i will do it that way uh here we go and we're does, diving into it does the order that you align them in the beginning like that that's their, their yeah that's their acting order in combat oh. yeah they don't I, I guess it's kind of intuitive they they all they will they also talk about it in the first tutorial of the game oh okay they say always put your archers at the back of the line so they can finish off the weaker guys ah, so like okay. i think oh jesus yeah this is not a good situation this is in. not a good situation look this at this is really not a good situation to be uh, in. well i suppose we'll uh we'll tackle this next time uh yeah, actually, but I want to talk about this real quick before we sure. end the episode. Sure. So the reason why this is especially bad, so yeah. normally being surrounded is just bad in general, yeah. right, in mm -hmm. terms of strategy. Um, it's double bad because now we cannot benefit from the chain reaction with the dredge, mm -hmm. which is like the one major advantage we can get out of them. Yeah. So setting up setting it up this way is actually incredibly smart from a design perspective for yeah. making it challenging. Yeah. In my opinion. Let yep, alone yep, we have yep. no room to place our guys. I think the way that I'm going to go about this is I'm just going to press on this guy as hard as I can, finish him off, and then just let them come at me from two sides. I think that's the only way that I'm going to survive this one. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, that's all we have for this episode. Uh, did you have a question of the day? Uh, I did, actually, yes. Uh, I do have a question of the day. The question of the day is... No, I don't have a question of the day. I forgot. I'm sorry. I had one, and now I don't, and it was going to be a funny one. It was going to be about something, like, totally unrelated. Oh. It was like, it was like, how soon do you want us to play Darkest Dungeon? Like, <laughs> Okay, so, question of the day. Do you, do you think that consequences of failing a battle should be game over, or do you think that you should uh, be penalized in yeah. some way. Suffer some permanently crippling negative. Especially in the sense of, of where we failed yeah. when we decided to just fight more rounds. Do you think that, you know, maybe it should have been a little bit worse for us? I forgot to turn my phone off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. See you in the archives. <laughs> we're not doing that anymore. I'm sorry. See, we were doing it for a while, and then we weren't doing it.